welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome to a video that brings me so much joy to watch, but I just don't love filming or editing it. And that is my entire unread TBR. That being said, this is the smallest this number is ever going to be. I do this video every year and this is going to be such a small number because I have a very limited TBR here at this house because I could not bring everything with me. So I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that the TBR is small and give myself a win for this video. It'll be less for me to edit, less to show, and the number will be so small, it'll be satisfying. I can lie to myself for a little bit, be in denial, and you can be in denial right along with me. <laughs> So I am going to go through every single book that I have on my shelves that I have not read. Um, I do have these sectioned off into categories. So we're going to start with fantasy, but uh, I'm going to go through every single book that I haven't read. I'm not going to give any synopsis. I'm just going to give the name and the author. And then if you see any books in this video that you think I absolutely have to read, please, please make sure to drop that down in the comments below so I can use your suggestions as my viewer recommendation pick. So without further ado, it's going to be a long video. So let's get into it. First one, we have Zara by S.J. Jones. A Strange Hymn by Laura Thalassa, Omen of Ice by Juice Accardo, The Witch King by Martha Wells, Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff, Forged by Blood by Ehibor Okusun, Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, Garden of the Cursed by Katie Rose Poole, Bone Smith by Nikki Palpretto, Threads That Bind by Kika Hatsapolu, A Soul to Keep by Opal Ring, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin, The Toll by Neil Schusterman, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross, The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten, Blood Mercy by Vela Roth, Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, Restless Slumber by KJ Sutton, The Consumption of Magic and the Damning Stone by TJ Klune, The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber, The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim, The Sun and Its Void by Gabriela Romero La Cruz, Silver in the Bone by Alexandria Bracken, These Hollow Vows and These Twisted Bonds by Lexi Ryan, The Ruin of Kings and The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons, After the Forest by Kel Woods, The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzon, Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare, Son of Blood and Ruin by Marilee Lars, If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda Sun, A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed, The Curse of Saints by Kate Dremis, Glint and Gleam by Raven Kennedy, Tower of Dawn, Empire of Storms, and Kingdom of Ash by Sarah Jamas, Bloodless Ties by Katie Wismer, Seraphim Academy by Elizabeth Briggs, Lifeblood by Amara Ray, Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion, One for My Enemy, The Atlas Six, and The Atlas Paradox by Liddy Blake, Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton, The Adventures of Amina El Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty, Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young, The Luminaries by Susan Denner, Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, A Touch of Darkness, and A Touch of Malice by Scarlet St. Clair, Wrath and Rain, and The Dark One by Nikki St. Crow, The Jassad Heir by Sarah Hassim, Serpent and the Wings of Night, Six Scorched Roses, Ashes and the Star Cursed King, and Children of Fallen Gods, all by Chris Bodbent, The Spirit Glass by Ratani Chokshi, This Dark Descent by Kaylin Josephson, and finally for fantasy, I have the two books that I'm currently in the middle of, and that is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, and lastly, Slaying the Vampire Conqueror by Chris Bodbent. I found two hidden fantasies. We have The Stolen Heir by Holly Black, and of course, Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Mass. All right, we are officially moving on to romances, and then after this, we have miscellaneous and like graphic novels and stuff. So let's get into all of the romances I haven't read. Up first, we have The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez, Boiler Alert by Olivia Dade, The Dating Playbook by Farrah Roshan, The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran, The After Party and Happy Is Not Hiatus by A.C. Arthur, The Gay Best Friend by Nicholas Didomizo, A Loveless by Alice Oseman, West Side Love Story by Priscilla Oliveras, Right Girl, Wrong Side by Ginny Bayard, Confess, Hopeless, Maybe Now, Maybe Someday, and Without Merit by Colleen Hoover, In the Weeds, and Mixed Signals by B.K. Borson, Always Only You, Ever After Always, and Everything For You by Chloe Leese, Behind the Mask by Nicole Banks, Wildest Dreams, and When Villains Rise by Gianna Darling, Love Unexpected, Always Been You, First Semester, and Unconditional by QB Tyler, Not My Type, Runner, and Wrath by Evie Mitchell, The Beautiful Hearts Duet by Emma Scott, Exquisitely Broken by M.J. Granberry, The Temporary Wife, and The Unwanted Marriage by Katarina Mora, Always Mine by Laura Pavlov, The Fine Print by Laura Nasher, Where I Belong by Jay Daniels, Travis and Kylan by Mia Sheridan, Forget Me Not by Julie Soto, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, The Pool Boy, The Architect, The Frat Boy, and Sorid by Nikki Sloan, Under Lock, and The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata, Two Rider with Love, Asunder, Ablaze, Cole and Mistletoe, Detroit, Ink, Rider, Push, and Pull, all by Sadie Rose, The Silent Water by Brittany C. Cherry, Twist Me by Anna Zaris, Mischief Night by Delaney Foster, Saint, Salt in the Wound, and American Queen by Sierra Simone, God of Malice by Rika Kent, Cleat Cute by Meryl Wilsner, Ricochet by Krista and Becca Ricci, The Plythe Before Christmas by Kate Stewart, Say You Swear by Megan Brandy, Mercy, The Highest Bitter, and Madam by Sarah 
Staircase, Promises and Pomegranates by Sour Miller, Broken Perfect Lies by Katie Wismer, Behind the Net, The Wrong Mr. Right, Finn Roads Forever, and In Your Dreams, Holden Roads by Stephanie Archer, Not So Meant to Be, and A Long Time Coming by Megan Quinn, Whispers of You by Katherine Cowles, Anastasia, The Spy, The Savage, The Bully, and The Rebel by Sophie Lark. All right, this is the last of the romance. Buckle your seatbelts, we're almost there. So we have Quarterback Sneak and A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner, Hopeless by Elsie Silver, Heist and Forgery by Tate James, By a Thread, Forever Never, The Worst Best Man, and Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score, My Soul to Keep, Down to My Soul, Refrain, and Hoop Shorts by Kennedy Ryan, Garnet Flats by Debney Perry, Radiant Sin and Cruel Seduction by Katie Robert, The Lost Fisherman by Jewel E. Ann, Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford, Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin, Hunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton, The Blood and Roses Part 1 by Callie Hart, Second Chance Contract by M. Robinson, Absinthe by Winter Rinshaw, Raw, and Raw Rebirth by Belle Aurora, A Pessimist Guide to Love by Jennifer Hartman, Black Swan Affair by K.L. Craig, The Revenge Pact by Isla Madden Mills, Devious Lies by Parker S. Huddington, Be the Girl by K.A. Tucker, Mine for Yours by Harlow Ray, Ten Trends to Seduce Your Best Friend by Penny Reed, Kill Switch, Conclave and Fire Knight, and Nightfall by Penelope Douglas, Daisy Hates, Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home, and Daisy Hates The Great Undoing by Jessa Hastings, King of Greed by Anna Huang, and finally the last romance we're going to talk about is one that I'm currently in the middle of and that is The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. And lastly, to close out this video, we're going to talk about our miscellaneous books and then the graphic novels. I only have two books in the miscellaneous category, and that is The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas and No One Leaves the Castle by Christopher Healy. And then for the graphic novels, I have Saga Volume 4 by Brian K. Vaughan, Lumberjanes Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Brian Stevenson, Shades of Magic and Extraordinary by V. E. Schwab, Paper Girls Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan, The Fine Print, Montrose Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Marjorie Liu and Sonia Takata, Laura Olympus Volume 3, Volume 4, and Volume 5 by Rachel Smith. And last but not least, I have two mangas, the first one being Death Note and Spy Family. Alrighty friends, that is everything. That is my entire own TBR, the smallest number it'll ever be. Um, and honestly, I like it. I like it. I like to live in denial and think that I really only have this amount of books on my TBR. I don't know what the number is. You'll know before I know. <laughs> and hopefully it's a reasonable number although I highly, highly doubt it. Let me know down below if you read any of the books that I mentioned today and ones you think that I should put at the top of my priority list. I would really love to hear all of your thoughts. That being said, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did make it to the end and you don't have anything else to comment, just leave a book stack emoji. I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you did like it, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Nice baby, turn it down like a sweet parody. Go slow, keep it nice and steady. Know that you've been keeping patient.